is becoming a sort of a something spontaneous or is it gradual? Can one be a sort of one and not be aware of it or have some sort of doubt about it? Mm, those are good questions. Well, it's both really, you know. Becoming a sotapanna is one moment. You're not kind of a sotapanna. You're not partially sotapanna. You either are or you aren't. It's a, it's a, it's a categorical difference. A sotapanna is someone who's seen nibbana. A non-sotapanna is someone who is not. That means it's spontaneous or or instantaneous. But it's not spontaneous in the sense that it is gradual practice. You have to cultivate awareness to the point where the mind is able to break away from sankharas and, and reach the asankata, the unformed, which is nibbana. Um, the second question is more difficult because I don't want to I don't want to say the wrong thing and, and misrepresent the truth and uh, but to me you know so this is uh, how am I going to be the arbiter of this question right this is a question you have to ask the Buddha a sotapanna doesn't have doubt um, but my understanding, and I think the commentary's understanding, is that, and I, maybe even the Tipitaka, the Buddha's teaching, uh, what we have of the Buddha's teaching, is under the understanding that that refers to specifically doubt in the Buddha, doubt in the Dhamma, and doubt in the Sangha. Thus, the Buddha is enlightened, his teachings are the path to, to freedom from suffering, and a person who practices these teaching uh, teachings no, a person who is light, enlightened is the person who has practiced these teachings that's the doubt that dis that's the the confidence of a sotapanna that they have no doubt in these things three things it doesn't say that they have no doubt in themselves and i think that's reasonable I don't want to give a direct, um, a categorical answer here, but to me that seems reasonable, because sotapanna is just a word, and this happens all the time in meditation. You think, you get this idea that it's something, that it's an entity. Am I it? Am I there yet? You, you're waiting for the signpost, and so you're you're looking. Um, how do you know if you're a sotapanna? I had some experience that makes me think that I'm a sotapanna, but am I a sotapanna? So we don't tend to answer people's questions when they ask about how do you know you're a sotapanna and so on. You say, you know, do you have greed, do you have anger, do you have delusion? Well, then there's still further to go. That's all you should know. Because the only thing that it would do if you did know that you were a sotapanna is it might it would give you the reassurance that would maybe make you stop practicing or go like get lazy. If you are a sotapanna and you have doubt about it, you're still going to work really hard to, to push on, to cut off more defilements. But uh, I would say yes, a sotapanna can have doubt. My guess is, and I'm not sure that it's correct, is that a sotapanna um, can have doubt. Because it's not... Um, It's not a sure thing. I would say an arahant. I see. I don't want to make these categorical statements. I think it's reasonable su to suggest that a sotapanna could have doubt, and I think it's reasonable to suggest that an arahant may not have doubt, because the arahant is free from delusion. So the arahant is, in my mind, more likely of the two to be free from doubt in themselves. Because, and the Buddha said, Vusitang Brahmacharyang 
katang kananiyang natidani punabhuti, natidani itarat pachanati. He knows for himself that there is nothing further. This is uh, an arahat. The arahat knows for themselves. I would say a sotapanna because they still have greed, anger, and delusion. They might still have this confusion inside of themselves. And thus still have doubt. The doubt that has disappeared is in the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. So whether they know that they themselves have reached it, they'll just be confused and, and doubt about themselves. But when they look deep down, they will be able to say that they have no doubt in the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha.